Hey guys, I'm making this quick video just to show you how to import pictures uh, and videos mainly from your iPhone. So once you hook up your iPhone to your Mac, uh, you will see that iPhoto really um, Mac's trying to get rid of that. I know some of you may have projects there, but we want to import them using Photos now. That that's the new app on uh, on our new OS. Okay, so once we go into Photos, you will see this. On Photos, you will see the last option which says Import. So just click on there, and you're gonna see all these. Okay, so you have to have your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch um, hooked up, and you will see these. So I just want to import all these videos. Um, I don't use iCloud for that because that will just waste my 5 gigs right away. So I'm just going to import these videos. So I just chose them. Um, you can highlight them all, just press command and then click on each one to select various ones. Or just click on one. Then up here you're going to see import 16 items. Okay. So you can delete, you can click on this and just this check mark. And this will delete items after import. You may want to do that, you may not. Okay, in my case, I do want to delete them from my iPhone once they're done importing. So I'm going to import them right now. And for videos, it will usually take a little bit of time. Um, it shouldn't take that much unless you have really, really, really long videos. So they will be come up like this. So you will see that um, one by one will start coming up. If, you, if you're just importing pictures, um, they will come up a lot faster. I uh, actually don't recommend importing pictures because you do have photo stream and uh, you can just import them that way so you can import every thousand pictures and that way you can just reset your photo stream and keep importing them that way um, like I said I don't recommend using iCloud just because that will fill up your 5 gigs really really fast okay um, apart from that guys if you don't take that many pictures or photos um, videos in uh, your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch, then you may want to use iCloud to back them up, or it, it really depends on your usage. Okay. Um, well, for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to import them. As you saw, they're imported into my photos library, so I'm done. Uh, then from there, they're just uh, deleted from your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, and you're good to go. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys are having any questions, comments, or any problems, just uh, write them here below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.